sponsoring today's video. Fit of the day, we have this amazing sports bra from Bowen T. My jacket is from ASOS, sweats from Aritzia, bag Chanel, shoes from StockX. They are the Brazil's um, dunks. And yeah, that's pretty much the vibe. I don't know why my camera keeps going dark. It's driving me insane. We are gonna be going out today, I'm so excited. Um, I got up kind of late because I went to sleep at like four in the morning, but we are back and we are better. And um, I'm excited to take you guys along for the day. Pamper time, get these ugh, nails fixed. I, I can't stand when I have a broken nail. I feel so not it. Literally was up till four o'clock in the morning yesterday um, editing because I had another vlog that went up. I'm sure you guys have already seen it. If not, well, you guys are gonna see it. Um, but I had a vlog that went up and I was having so many technical issues. I think that I have to, ugh, sorry, I'm like trying to figure out. I don't know why I don't have the navigation up on my car. I have it on my phone. Probably should have put it in my car, but. Um, I was having so many technical issues with my computer last night that I was trying to get it up, but I was falling asleep and like, I'm stupid, so I don't know how to have like my MacBook open until it's done processing like on a YouTube thing. So like, it kept going black. And so while the video was processing in the YouTube, um, whatever, it kept going black so then the video would stop processing. So, so then I had to essentially like stay up with the computer and just constantly wiggle the mouse. I have to figure out how to have the computer just open and not like, you know, go to sleep or whatever you want to call it. Um, just because, yeah. Easy, I'm doing it. Guys, okay, you know what is so hilarious to me? So I read, like, you guys were so sweet um, on my breakup post on Instagram. This is your first time hearing it. Yes, I am single. I am officially a single independent woman. And um, I posted something about it on Instagram. I didn't want to make an actual video dedicated to it. Oop. Sorry, hold on. Okay. As I was saying, um, I didn't want to post a breakup video because honestly, it's not really my style, but of course, like here I am talking about it because it's a huge part of my life. Like I was with somebody for literally almost seven years and um, there's so many things that I'm adjusting to that I've never really done. Like one, I've never lived alone because I lived with my parents and then I lived with him. So living alone is new to me. Um, shit, I gotta get over, sorry. Um, and it's just little things like that that I am getting used to. Like also just driving, but anyways, what I, the reason why I brought this up was because I was like reading all of your guys' comments and they were so sweet and everything. But um, one of the comments that somebody wrote to me was like, "Oh, Haley's gonna like die without Alex because she, she's not gonna be able to get driven anywhere anymore." And like I laughed because like low key, like yeah, like he, like I bought my car, like it's my car with my money, but I would make him. <laughs> drive me around like you know what i mean first of all when you're in a relationship like why wouldn't you carpool hello um like if you guys are going to the same place but let's just say we are not going to the same place a lot of the times we do carpool and i would want him to drive because i don't know i don't like driving like i do okay that's a lie i like driving but i don't i don't i rather sit in the passenger seat if i can but now that i've been single for a week I don't mind driving, like it's not horrible. Mm. Um, I have obviously noticed that there are a lot more crazy people out there. Um, and like driving with crazy people on the road is insane. But I definitely think that, you know, everything's gonna be fine and I'm, adjusting to my new life every day. I am going through like a new trial and tribulation. Um, so today I'm driving to the nail salon, which is not in my town at all. Um, it's actually quite far from me. So um, this is something that normally like Alex would drive me to, but here I am driving myself. Um, so I'm excited. Um, I'm gonna get some sort of Halloween nails, nothing too crazy. Like I was gonna originally do like a spider web, something like that, but I've decided, mm, I wanna get something that's wearable into November. 
um, because I'm not the girl who like, gets my nails done every week. Like I get my nails done like every maybe three weeks. So these will last me until November. Um, I have two options. So it's either going to be like a matte black French vibe or I will do, um, I think it's like a lime green crocodile French. Really cool, I'm excited. Okay. Oh, and I also got Starbucks. This is my chai. Favorite drink ever. It's two pumps of vanilla, five pumps of chai, and soy milk. It's a guilty pleasure. I wouldn't suggest to get it every day. Um, every time I would drink it every day, I would just gain a ton of weight. So definitely don't do it as an everyday thing. I think more of like my everyday Starbucks drink would probably be like a matcha, which I'm not saying that that's much better, but listen, I know my body. I know what like makes me bloated and like big. If I'm drinking something green, I feel like I'm doing something right. Even though it's kind of like not really healthy anymore. Um, but yeah, guys, I will um, chat with you guys um, later. Let's go get our nails done and um, I'll see you in a little bit. We are getting paper square and I got a fresh set and the fingers that I jammed looking crazy. Poor Rosie, her nails are all <laughs> ugly today for the video. <laughs> she always has perfect nails. Drowning by yourself, now you wanna blame me. Like you have no options. I take you. So here's how the nails came out. I call them Frankenstein's Bay. I really wanted something that was Halloween, but wasn't too Halloween to the point where I could wear them into November. Um, and I love this like little gem that Rosie put on it for me. Like I'm obsessed. Um, these nails are just such a vibe. Look at all the makeup all over this. Like how, like this is my dirty sweatshirt. That's why like, I can't like, I can't have any nice things because this is what ends up happening. Um, but anyways, yes, this is the nails close up. Um, you know, screenshot for any inspiration. I know for me, I always need nail inspo. It's like such a difficult thing for me to figure out what I want to do for my nails. So um, if I can help anybody that needs like a green vibe or isn't afraid to like use color. Also like, look at how good Rosie does shaping. Like that is so important to me when getting my nails done. Like it's one thing to know how to do design and it's another thing to know how to do the shaping and like to make sure the shape looks good. So like this is just top quality shaping. I'm obsessed so freaking good hey guys i'm just cutting through this video to give a shout out to our sponsor titan we are going to be talking about investments today and i'm so excited to get into it a little bit with you guys because this is so new for me and i'm just loving talking about finances investing and money and all of that so let's just get into it titan is an investment app yes guys an investment app so essentially what it does is it helps everyday consumers have their money managed by experts. And these are investment experts. So they are going to help you manage your money and help you with investing your money literally through the app. They also keep you informed along the way. So they let you know exactly the activity that's going on and you're going to be very in the know about everything that's going on with where your investments are going. So I kind of wanted to tell you guys how it essentially works. So if you are new to investing, you guys can kind of feel a little bit more educated after I explain. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to download the Titan app and you are going to deposit your money into Titan. So you're going to select a portfolio. So this could be flagship, it could be crypto, it could be opportunities. So essentially the Titan team buys the stocks for you and makes you a portfolio so that you will have whatever type of investment of your choice kind of put out for you in a more organized form so that you guys can really see where your money is going. They are going to give you more information about how they are buying and selling your stocks and they are going to to give you audio and video updates along the way so that you are very much in the know as to where your money is going. So the reason why I chose to work with Titan is because I have been wanting to get involved in investments and buying and selling stocks because I do believe that it does help you with more financial literacy and helping you kind of gain some knowledge when it comes to where you should put your money and how to save it and how to just put it into the right areas. And I do think that Titan is a great place to put your money because they are experts and they are going to buy and sell stocks on your behalf and create a nice portfolio for you so that you can really see everything laid out and, you know, feel 
feel like your money is going to good use. Now, what's also really great is if you do want to get into crypto, this is going to do all of the guesswork for you. There's a lot of logistics that go into buying crypto and they are going to literally do it for you. So if you guys are interested in Titan and downloading the app and investing your money in a really notable platform, then I will leave all the information for it down below. Thank you so much Titan for sponsoring this portion of the video and let's just get into the rest of the video. Hello guys, I am just updating you guys. I am on my way out the door. About to go out to dinner with a friend. My house is a mess. But um, this is my outfit of the night. Dress from House of CB. Tight Gucci boots. I think they're from ASOS. Earrings. Um, I'll link them down below if I can remember. But this is my vibe. So excited. My friends are so cool. Like... Peanut butter seek, perfect time. Mm. Vibes. Delicious dinner. Oh, and I have a spicy blood orange margarita. What are you drinking? Go ahead. Talk about what you're drinking. This is my friend Renee, guys. Oh, so nice. We're gonna get lit by the end of the night. We got peach sorbet. We got amaretto drenched fruit, biscotti. And Renee has banana bread something. Look at how good. We've been so well taken care of. Like, I'm literally obsessed with this place. Like, I'm gonna be eating here all the time. So good. Just made it back from dinner. Oh, uh, guys, I am so tired. I'm literally, I'm looking for my makeup wipes, but I don't seem to find them. I don't know why I said I just got back from dinner. I've been back for a minute, but. Uh, where are my makeup wipes? Why is my toilet still wetting? Where do I keep them? Ugh, I drank way too much. Let's go. Where are you? There you are. Come on, guys. We have to go to bed. Take a nice scrunchie. I love when I go out and I drink and I have a good dinner. I went to an Italian restaurant. They really accommodated to me being plant-based. And I love that. And all the pasta was like handmade. So it was like real deal pasta. But I'm too lazy to wash my face and I'm too drunk, so... What are you doing, Steel? Come here. Look at all that. Ugh, I have so much to do. Because I hate getting makeup on my f***ing pillows. Look, I hate it more than anything. But I literally, um, so like my little rule that I tell myself, let me mute the TV, sorry. My rule that I tell myself is like throughout the week, like I'll be very strict with like my eating and I don't really drink anything but water unless I'm going to Starbucks, which Starbucks is my weakness, I will admit. But um, when I go out on the weekends, like I usually drink, but I'm gonna try to limit my drinking because I really wanna see results with my weight loss. And I do notice that when I drink, my stomach looks huge. Like, I mean, the biggest stomach I've ever seen in my legit life. Like, I look pregnant, and I don't know if it's, I guess that's normal, um, because obviously people wouldn't say to stop drinking alcohol um, when you're working out unless it bloated you or made you look crazy. So, I'm gonna start drinking vodka and seltzer because I do know that that is the vibe for like trying to just i guess like not drink super high caloric drinks when you're out because you're already eating a ton so did we get all the makeup off let's see oh god all right guys oh i'm that gross bitch that sleeps with my pillowcase off but the only reason why i sleep with it off is because these pillows are cool pillows and what is the point of having a pillowcase on a cool pillow if you can't feel the coolness through the pillowcase? Like, I've always been so curious about that. So, I sleep with the pillowcase off. Um, my hair looks kind of messy. I'm going to go to bed, and I will see you guys in the morning. More sober and more on it.
Hello guys and happy Sunday. So I am going to be showing you guys my favorite, favorite, favorite Sunday brunch recipe. I don't eat this every day because it's more of like a fun, exciting, more weekend type recipe. So it's going to be my vegan egg sandwich on an English muffin with a side of fruit, some water, and it's just like a good vibe. I love having this on the weekends. I look forward to it literally every weekend because it's just that good. And sometimes you can like add random stuff like pesto and tomato and lettuce and all that good stuff. Today I don't have any of that stuff, so I'm just gonna be doing like a traditional egg sandwich with vegan sausage. But I'm gonna show you guys the recipe because it is just that good and you guys are gonna obsess over it. I wanted to show you guys my outfit of the day because I swear to you guys, I like live in athleisure, especially in the fall. And I just find that this outfit is just so easy and cute. So my top is from Maritzia. So the sports bras from Maritzia are so comfortable and they are just so flattering. Like I'm obsessed. And I actually talked about them in my previous vlog about how I like to wear these on like my walks with the dogs. And then the pants are from Set Active. These are such cute pairs of pants. I actually haven't been able to wear these for literally so long because they didn't fit. But now that I am on my weight loss journey, I put them on today and they fit so good. So I feel like really proud of that because whenever you like hit a goal or hit a body goal, sometimes you don't necessarily notice it, but you notice it more when it comes to your clothing. So I got really excited this morning. And then um, my sneakers are just Nike Air Max Supremes and I just have regular socks on. I actually got these Nike socks from Amazon and I will link them for you guys. And then I'm sure the question of the day is the coat. This coat is from Zara. It was a really awesome find. I went in store one day, found it, and that was it. Um, if I can find it online, I will try, but I don't know, guys, because it's one of those things where you go into like a store in like a random mall and find like that one piece that just sticks out to you. And that was this coat. I remember I splurged on it. It was a little bit pricey, but um, definitely worth it because I literally am wearing it like it's like my daily outfit. So outfit of the day. Love it, love it, love it. I started a show called Divorce. It has Sarah Jessica Parker in it. Um, it is pretty good. I don't know if I like it because it has to do with relationships ending and you know when you're in your feelings about things, a lot of the times you just like to watch stuff that reminds you of your life, so yeah, depressing shit. Okay, here we go. Let's make this egg recipe. Wait, let me show you guys. Okay, I want to show you guys something really quick. So I have two different types of vegan sausages that I'm obsessed with. These ones are the Beyond Breakfast sausages in spicy flavor. So like if you want a little kick to your food, you can have that. Um, I do really like these a lot. And then I also have the Garden Breakfast Sausage Patties. And these are not spicy. They used to have, you okay, sir? Um, so I have these Garden Breakfast Sausages and these are in regular original flavor. They used to have a spicy one. I don't know what happened, but I don't know, guys. Um, I like these. I'm going to use these today. So then I also am going to be using this just egg right here. And these are like a folded egg that you can keep in the freezer. And it's vegan. They're plant-based. Let's see what they're made out of. Because I'm sure you guys are going to ask me. It says they're made out of mung bean protein isolate. Like that's like the main ingredient. So mung beans. And this is like the folded egg patty. So it literally looks like a little McDonald's patty. And then I'll do a sausage. And then I have my whole wheat English muffins. These are vegan um, and they are wheat. You can get the regular ones if you want. And then last but not least, because I'm obsessed with cheese, we're gonna do, we're gonna do a cheese. Now, obviously you're like, wait, Haley, what cheese is this? Because it's like literally in a bag. I always like to re-bag my um, stuff like this so it doesn't get dry, but this is the Chow Cheese in Original. I will link it, or not link it, but I will um, put the exact name of it down below so you guys can pick this up and recreate this exact breakfast sandwich because what I'm telling you, it's that good, you're gonna obsess. So, let's get to it. First things first, you wanna put on your stove. And I like to use a little bit of olive oil. You can use cooking spray if you want, but I am an extra virgin olive oil kind of girl. I just do like a nice little drizzle like that and then just kind of move it around the pan. I'm telling you guys, you can get really creative with this brunch recipe. Like, it's just so good. We're gonna add our vegan sausage. So I'm just gonna slam that down like that. And I'm not gonna put the egg in yet. I'm gonna let this cook for a few minutes and I'm gonna put a top on it just so that it defrosts because it is frozen. And I just want it to fully defrost before I put the 
egg patty in, which is gonna be next. I really am seeing such significant results with my body and my trainer. I was just so bloated and so like, what's the word called? Like just like not feeling like myself. And now I'm feeling like it's going down a lot. The bloating is subsiding and I'm having a little bit um, more of toning and definition in my stomach. I've been working hard guys. The one thing I will say is I could probably work on my diet just a little bit better. But you know, we're taking it one day at a time. We can't be perfect in everything. And I don't wanna go too difficult on myself. Hi pretty. What are you doing? Do you want some water? <gasps> Do you want some water? What? Do you want water? <gasps> I hear your brother. Steel, come here. Do you want some water? Do you want some water, boy? Sit. <laughs> You're so cute, boy. Sit down. Sit. Sit. That's a good boy. Okay, go ahead. Suede, sit. Sit. That's a good girl. Speak. Speak. Good girl. Wait. 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 Sit. Paw. Okay, go ahead. I think it's time to flip my little patty there. There we go. Put both of them. While that's cooking, we're gonna put our English muffin in the toaster. Coolest toaster ever. <laughs> And here is my little vegan egg sandwich. I got the Cholulas, you know, dripping off. Look at the way the sausage looks, the egg. It literally looks like a real egg sandwich. And we got some fruit on the side. Can't go wrong with that. I'm about to devour this up. And um, yeah, guys, obsessed. Give it a try. Don't knock it until you try it. It's literally gonna give everything it needs to give and more. One thing I learned about being plant-based is that you just have to experiment and try and make things that remind you of what you used to eat when you weren't plant-based. A lot of people want to eat plant-based and then they eat things that they would never eat and then they end up hating it. I like to make things, especially now that I'm like four years in, almost five, I like to make things that I ate prior to being plant-based. Do you understand what I'm saying? So every once in a while, have your little guilty pleasure, have your little mac and cheese, have your egg sandwich, and remind yourself, hey, it's plant-based, so it's a little bit healthier than if I were to have the real thing. That's what I do. Hey guys, so I just got done eating lunch, and um, I wanna get like some laundry done just because I'm always behind on laundry, but I have this awesome basket that was recommended through, I believe, Julia Havens, and it's like a rolling laundry basket. I actually like tripped over it like maybe a couple months ago, so mine's a little lopsided, but I love this basket because you can just roll it throughout the house. It's super easy to um, keep your laundry in, and it's freaking huge, so I never have an issue with like having my laundry in several different things, but... We have some laundry that we have to do. So I'm gonna remove this and then I'm going to fold some laundry and then I have my blankets for my couch, which I always wash because I always get makeup on them. Um, like literally every time that I wash them or every time that I use them, I get makeup on them because I put them so close to my face. But um, yeah, I'm gonna do that really quick. is laundry do you guys use dryer sheets or do you just do it right from there I occasionally will use dryer sheets 
but not every time. Oh shit, hold on. I forgot to take something out. How were y'all in here? I didn't see ya. Okay. There we go. Just the blankets. I am in my bathroom. This is my guest bathroom. I literally make such a mess out of it. Like I have my stuff scattered everywhere because I, whenever I get like new products, like I have a ton of new products that I've received, which I will show you guys um, in a future video. But um, I have to put them away in here because I keep all of my products. I'll show you guys right now. I keep everything new or things that I use all the time in here. So I have like a little glass clear um, containers to store them in. Um, it's a little messy just because I go through it quite a bit and when you just use something all the time It's gonna get messy eventually, but um, even like just have all my Victoria's Secret body sprays I have some refi which is one of my favorite brands for makeup um, Stuff that I haven't opened yet. I have like random stuff like nail clippers and band-aids and stuff in there I have makeup back there. I have it all. So I need to put some stuff away in here um, I want to like make room for it because I am going to be showing you a lot of these products. I have a video coming up with Sephora, so I picked out all of like my favorite products from Sephora. And then things that I haven't used, I have to use this week or next week so that I can review them. Um, I'm gonna keep this out because I actually wanna use that. Um, but I got a lot of really cool stuff from Sephora that I love, and I can't wait to show you guys for their holiday savings event. Um, it's just nice to get some I just have to clean up here. I wanted to show you guys this hand soap that I got from a friend. I'm gonna show you in the other room. So one of my really good friends, Shayna, actually gave this to me for my birthday, and I haven't used it up until um, literally last week, and it's like my new favorite hand soap. So I wanted to put you guys on. It's the Le Labo Savon Mains hand soap. This is the perfect soap to have like in your guest bathroom or even in your own personal bathroom if you just want to impress everyone that knows you and to smell amazing. Like this is the type of hand soap that has your hands smelling so expensive and divine. And I'm actually gonna show you guys a few things that I'm obsessed with um, similarly to this that is just gonna have your house smelling so bomb because not only is your soap a reflection of your house, but so are other things. So I'm gonna show you guys. So I have a couple favorite um, candles that I've been obsessed with right now, but I'm gonna put you guys onto the ones that I've been burning the most that to me have like the best impression on a home that I don't believe I've spoken about in video. So this one right here is the Voluspa Blonde Tabak. This is insane, guys. Like, it is just so good. So here, this is a candle up close. It just smells like clean house. I don't know what about it is just so good. It's a perfect candle for um, like anything fall. As you guys can see, we have a warm perique tabac. I have no clue what that is. Vanilla husk and sandalwood. Literally anything with sandalwood I'm obsessed with. I don't know why, it's just like a weakness of mine, but this candle is, not only is it beautiful, like look at like the little speckled, goldness all over it but I also just love the smell it's just like a clean house beautiful smell okay like this isn't gonna be for everyone because not everybody likes pumpkin but this is a very tasteful pumpkin this is a Voluspa spice pumpkin latte beautiful packaging smells amazing like I find this to be a very like tasteful beautiful pumpkin smell like it's not like something that's gonna be like too overwhelming I don't find that I like walk into my house and I'm like oh my god what in the cheap pumpkin smells going on here like no this is actually really nice and again the packaging is just so stunning like i love the shape and the look of this candle it just looks so good on the counter and it has lasted me so long like i've burned it for so long and i'm obsessed um so if you're looking for a pumpkin candle that's not like too tacky not too stinky it just has like the perfect amount of spice to it you're gonna love this for the fall can't go wrong with closing out the video with some puppy content <laughs> suede and steel look what's this <gasps> What's this? Who's gonna get it? Go! Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and let me know what you guys wanna see in the next vlog so that I can get that going for you guys. And I love you so much. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Steel, is that really how you wanna treat your sister? What are you doing? Why are you biting her face? Come here. Hey, come. Come, sit, sit. Say bye to your friends. Give me a paw. Say bye. Say bye, everybody.
options Now I'm not the problem Man, that's on you, yeah You've been terrorizing me Yeah, I'm always wrong 